when you hear that loggers don't care, that's the furthest from the truth. And you know, we grow trees uh, and that's the business we're in. And you know, when you look at the way that we cut it, it's to promote, even if the landowners don't want to spend the money, the, the trees around it will reseed it, it'll grow back naturally. And I mean, that's what we do. And, and we do it in a way where, you know, again, even if the landowner don't want to spend that money, the trees will grow back. And you know, it's kind of cool, I've cut timber my daddy cut, and now I'm old enough that I've gone back and cut, you know, that's crazy, but I've cut blocks that I've I cut when I was young. And, uh, and that's what it's all about, you know, and it's like cool to get a map and see my dad logged it 40 years ago. You know, it's just neat. Uh, but we are in the tree growing business and, and we're fortunate that there's enough paper companies around here. They don't want to run out of timber. So they manage it. And, and that's what it's all about is management. Yeah, this was a this was an older stand. This was a planted stand of trees, and it was older. And I think some bugs had got in it, and that's why you see there's some dead timber laying, and and or there was before we raked it up. So we we came in here with a drum chopper and we chopped it. Uh, what didn't chop up, we raking in, into you know piles, you know a few scattered piles here and there, and then we're going to be pulling some new beds to plant the trees on, some raised beds. And uh, there'll be a herbicide contractor who'll come and spray and kind of knock back some of the competing vegetation just for a little while. And uh, just to give the seedlings a head start. And then, you know, probably December, no, January, something, something along in those lines, we'll, they'll come in here and hand plant containerize loblolly seedlings. And, uh, the new stand will be off to a start. The good thing about forestry in the south is we're planting trees that would have grown here naturally anyways. On this particular site, I mean, this is a, there's a, a little layer of sand and then there's clay, gumbo clay beneath, left to its own in its natural state, loblolly pine would grow here naturally and it's, uh, that's what we're gonna plant you know, that's what will be planted here. Because it's, you know, it does well and it grows the best on this site. And this is really cool. When my dad logged, it took 70 years for a tree to grow. Today they're growing in 28. 28 years, they got a tree that you can get lumber out of. It's your, you know, it's a genetic pine, but that's what they plant and that's what's going. So, you know, we're on a 28 year cycle, which that's a long time, but you know, people have a, they can harvest it twice in their lifetime. And that's, you know, I just like people to know that, that the trees are growing a lot faster. They're, you know, they, they made advances on pine trees. Reforestation is beneficial for, uh, you know, in the future, they can harvest this stand, uh, this, this stand of trees and, and, uh, it's good for the economy all the way around.